On September 21st, caregivers are invited to attend the Waco Conference, sponsored by a number of agencies, including Care Partners and Arbor House Assisted Living and Memory Care. Joining me now are Karen Pettit, who's coordinator of Care Partners, and Carrie Pullen, executive director of Arbor House. There'll be a lot of other exhibitors yes. there mm -hmm. as well. But this, you know, I mentioned it's for caregivers. Um, because as you tell me that you were a caregiver and you really didn't take care of yourself. Right. I took care of my dad, my husband and I did. And as you know, that just creates uh, a lot of stress and you tend not mm -hmm. to even care for yourself. But we're putting on a caregiver conference that shows caregivers, family caregivers here in Waco and the surrounding area that they have resources and that they have people who care about what they're doing and it's free. They can come and they can just relax. And Arbor House, Carrie is providing a nice hot breakfast. breakfast. Wow. <laughs> and we're going to have four speakers. Mm -hmm. um, Rainey and Rainey is our conference underwriter and James Rainey will be there to talk about how one may uh, finance uh, rest homes or nursing home care. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And also we're going to address the um, grief side. We're going to have Nicole mm -hmm. Richardson, who is a hospital chaplain with Baylor Scott and White. And she's going to be talking about the grief that we can experience as a caregiver. So many different uh, ways that we can experience grief, even though we mostly don't recognize it when we're actually doing the caregiving itself. We're also having Christine Schroeder Morin from the Alzheimer's Association, and everyone in Waco is familiar with Christine. Sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and she's going to be talking about the relationship between the brain and the body and how we take care of ourselves and what we can do for that. And then lastly, we're going to be having Dr. Um, Sidian. Dr. Sudan, mm -hmm. Dr. Arthur Sudan oh, speaking. to tell his story. Yes, mm -hmm. to tell his story. He is yes. also a caregiver mm -hmm. and, and mm -hmm. Carrie, of course, uh, Arbor House, such a great facility. Mm -hmm. yes, well, people will be able to see more about your facility there as yes, well. Yes, yes, we'll, we'll have a booth. We're, we are providing breakfast. Um, so we'll be present. And um, along with us, I mean, we have other booths, um, um, interim home health and hospice. Um, we have, I think, 15 different vendors, exhibitors, yes, right. um, just offering different visiting angels. Visiting a, lot angel, of, yes. a lot of different ones to, yes, to allow for folks lot. to stay at home or yes, if they need exactly. uh, in right. facility just care. Just different resources for caregivers. So um, important mm -hmm. as, as uh, our parents, in my case, mm -hmm. parents aging, mm -hmm. uh, you know, to, to know more about what is available exactly. and for help mm -hmm. for them mm -hmm. is yes, so mm -hmm. important. Mm -hmm. Is there a charge? There is absolutely no charge, mm -hmm. so take care of yourself right now. If you're a caregiver, just take uh, three hours Saturday morning, this is mm -hmm. the 21st, mm -hmm. Come to uh, First Methodist downtown on mm -hmm. Austin Avenue, mm -hmm. 8 a.m. 8 a.m. to 11:45, mm -hmm. and just let us pamper yes. you. let us take with care of you. Breakfast <laughs> and education right. and resources. Mm -hmm. It's just going to be a and fun time. Learn that you're not alone in this walk. Yes, learn definitely. That's absolutely. the most important piece uh, for sure. Well, and then go both. to the flute concert after <laughs> that. <laughs> right, and then that's lighter in the day. 